All right, welcome to Talking Investing. I am Tom, and as always, this is not financial advice. It is Friday afternoon, and I want to do my Bitcoin and Bitcoin miner update. So we cover this content quite a bit on the channel. So if you're interested in the Bitcoin miners, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. Also, if you enjoy this video, please smash the like button and feel free to drop a comment below. So as I was preparing to do this video, Bitcoin started to go into a free fall. So it fell quite a bit and now it has turned around a little bit. So we'll get to the chart in a few minutes and see which way this is going because because we're right at a key line of support and not sure if it's going to hold. There's still two hours left in the trading day today, so we could end up anywhere. Let's start out by taking a look at the big board of Bitcoin miners. So a lot of red on this board. It's completely red with the exception of Iris, stock ticker IREN. They reported earnings a couple of days ago and they've had a slightly positive reaction to that and they are having the best day out of anybody today. The rest of the regular suspects that we follow, Bitfarms, is down seven and a half percent clean sparks down six percent hot over five percent and so on and so on digihost which i will tell you i hold is down ten percent and it has not been behaving well at all recently so you guys can pause and take a look at the rest of the board whatever stocks you're currently invested in or maybe looking to invest in but again a lot of potential buying opportunities today because this is a very big red day in the middle of what has been a bull run so we know these happen let's go to the bitcoin chart and take a look and see what's going on okay so this is bitcoin on the 15 minute time frame so you can see i drew a line this morning and this green line right here was a very very short-term trend line this just goes from last night to about noon today so we were trending upward and this line was holding several times but the second it broke through it we basically went straight down so this is one, two, three 15 minute candles. And just a few minutes into this candle, we were already way down at 42,000. So that was a very quick drop from the 43,500 that we had basically been hanging around all morning since the market opened. That was a quick drop of over a thousand points. You can see we've actually made a bunch of that up and we're back to 42,600. So we're up almost 600 points off the low of a few minutes ago. The question is, where are we going from here? Because this has been highly unpredictable. This line right here at around 42,000 was the bottom of the flash crash. That has been a line of support in the past. So, you know, we almost retested it last night and we seem to be on an uptrend and then we ran straight down to it. And we actually got below that, but even on the 15 minute candle so far, we haven't been able to hold below that. So we're currently holding this line of support nicely. But again, there's two hours left in the trading day and you can see this was some massive volatility in the last half an hour. So now at the moment, we're seeing a tiny bit of green. So we'll see, that could erase in a second. I will tell you that for whatever reason, I was expecting to finish the day somewhere around here, above this trend line that we had established not quite to this line. All this orange line is, that's where Bitcoin was at the close of the equity markets yesterday. So we've been trading in a pretty tight range. I was looking for this. I'm less optimistic about this right now. This would be nice. And I think if we were to get back up to this, this board would probably turn green from the deep red that it is right now. Most of the miners were green through most of this morning period. Then, you know, it wasn't until about noon that things started trending downward in a big way. Okay, so this is Bitcoin on the one day chart. You'll see we bottomed out at January 24th here at just around $33,000. From the bottom on January 24th to our high of last night, we were up almost exactly 40%. And that's just in about two and a half weeks. So this has been a massive run up. So as you guys know, Bitcoin is extremely volatile. And with a 40% run up, we were definitely due for a little pullback. So I don't know if how short term this is. The question is, how much of a pullback are we going to go back down and test some of these bigger lines of support? This green candle right here is February 4th. That's just one week ago today. And on February 4th, we tested both this line at 39,500 and 37,500 in the same day. So, so I'm hoping not to go back and test any of these lines, but it would be nice if this line held because we don't want to start setting lower lows. We're, we're very much in a bullish trend right now. So I think this is Bitcoin taking a breath, heading sideways, pulling a little bit back. 
I'm viewing this as a buying opportunity. I, t I said in yesterday's video that I took some profits, and I think that turned out to be the right thing to do. Uh, but today, I am looking potentially, if I'm looking to buy in, I have already bought in a little bit of bit farms today. So I'm looking at several of other of these as potential buys. And again, this is not financial advice. I'm just telling you guys what I'm doing. So yesterday, I sold some CleanSpark options because CleanSpark was through the roof and it's come way down since then. It's at $8.88. It was way over $10 yesterday. So CleanSpark's one of the ones I'll be looking to potentially buy into. Marathon, something I'm trying to increase my position on as well. So several of these are offering a buying opportunity. I'm down 8% on Digihost. I am not buying any more Digihost. I have my Digihost position. That is it. It's acting very poorly in comparison to the other miners. And I think it is because it is just smaller. It looks to me like the small micro miners are getting a little bit left behind in this run. So from yesterday's high to right now, we're down about 7.5%. So it is not at all unusual to see a 10% pullback in the middle of a Bitcoin bull run. So there could be a little more pain to come. It's not even unusual to see a 15% pullback in the middle of a Bitcoin run. If you're a buy and hold person and you dollar cost average in, to me, these represent good buying opportunities for the positions you're still trying to fill out. Otherwise, sometimes you just have to wait it out and wait wait for things to get back on track. I will tell you the fear and greed index hit 50 yesterday. It is at 50 again today. That is exactly neutral. A lot of the indicators are looking like that fear and greed index. They've pulled back from bullish to neutral just in the very short term. But I strongly believe we've just begun this bull run. I think January 24th was the low. Again, we were up 40% from the low to yesterday's high. So we're well on our way in a bull run and we could have a long way left to go. I'm not gonna go through any of the miners in specific, but I will tell you all the miners at the top of my big board, Bit Farms, CleanSpark, Hut, Hive, Riot, Marathon, they are all down five, six, seven percent And to me, they all represent buying opportunities if they're stocks that you're looking to get into or increase your position. And so again, I have to tell you, this is not financial advice. You guys have to decide which stocks you're gonna buy and when. But looking at the big picture of this bull run, because the Bitcoin miners will mirror what Bitcoin does, we're currently fighting to get back to this line, which dates back to January 5th. So that was the third trading day of the year this year. So we're only about 6% away from that. I expect to take that out anytime soon. As soon as this little pullback or sideways momentum is over, I would think we'll take that out quickly. Really the next spot that we, we moved quickly between, so that was at around 45,500. The next spot is close to $52,000. So you can see we bounced up and down between 52 and 45, and then we broke to the downside. So, so that I think will be the next line of significant resistance once we break through this 45,500, really this $46,000 area. There are some smaller lines that are on my other chart. These are my big picture lines. I think 45, 52, and then 59, almost 60,000 is the next line. And then of course our all time high is at 69,000. So I do see us heading all the way back there sometime in the year 2022. You know, even after this pullback today, we're still up almost $10,000 on Bitcoin since it's low just a few weeks ago. You know, still about another 25 or 27,000 to go to get back to its all time high with a lot of stops along the way. You know, these are just some of the giant benchmarks. There's lots of other points of support and resistance along the way. It's a Friday afternoon and the week's almost over. So I'm just trying to take a minute and look at the big picture. I do think we have turned the corner. And for me, I'm going to be taking the approach of buying in on these pullbacks and then just riding it out on the upside. When something gets too hot, like yesterday, CleanSpark was up 25% at one point yesterday. So I take those opportunities to take some profits because to me that got ahead of itself and, and typically it's pretty clear when something's doing that. When things run up a little bit ahead of themselves, I'm taking profits. When we get these pullbacks, I'm using these as buying opportunities. So that's my strategy. And I will tell you, I also use options to do that as well. So I'm not recommending you guys use options. For those of you who are familiar and know how to use them, that's one thing. If you're not, please learn how to use options and understand because they are they are much more volatile than just trading the stock. So there are opportunities there, but it's very, very dangerous, particularly given the volatile nature of Bitcoin itself and the Bitcoin miners. 
they're already volatile. So when you add the volatility of options on top of that, you really got to make sure you know what you're doing. And I use small dollars when making those trades. So, you know, I don't put big money at risk that way. Okay, so we'll check back in on the 15 minute time frame. So it looks like this line of support, and again, this was the flash crash. On the 15 minute scale, this has held this has held perfectly. We touched it in the last 15 minutes, and now we touch it again here, and we're green on this 15-minute candle. Now, again, there's an hour and a half left in the trading day. Who knows which way we'll go? By the time you guys see this video, the answer is you will know. Uh, hopefully, we went back up. So best of luck, everybody. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video.